I have to say that I've got the best followers on Twitter and Instagram because that's why I get suggestions of analysis such as this Meghan Markle interview. And it took me some time, but I finally figured out why she shows so many different face expressions in such a short period of time. And you're about to know why. Welcome back, my body language buddies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the body language guy. And it will be great if you join us by just liking this video, subscribing and hitting that bell. Let's get down to it. Now you're going to watch 10 seconds, the first 10 seconds of this video. Just try to relax, take a deep breath and keep focused for just 10 seconds because you won't believe all the facial clues you're going to spot. Hi, it's Ruben Jay here at the USA Network premiere for season, the mid-season premiere of, of Suits, right. for season 5, uh, with Meghan Markle. Actually, it's not hard, that's for right now. I don't need it. Those were 10 seconds and 10 different facial states. This is not common at all, and something that we no longer see in Megan's videos. I mean, the last time we saw her doing this kind of rapid muscle movements, facial emotions, and changes in expressions was in her engagement interview with Harry. But the first expression that we can observe is this smile. Not a real smile, but it doesn't matter much because in most of these situations the person can be showing a diplomatic smile or a transitional facial expression. What this tells you is that she's not comfortable and looks really, really tense at that moment. By the way, I usually represent slow motion in my videos in black and white, but in this case, since the footage is not top quality, I left the color shades because it helps spot the facial details. Just for the record, you're gonna see a slow down text on the corner. But right after that forced smile comes the first extreme change. From my smile, she changed all the way to seriousness, and maybe it's a bit hard to spot, that she clenches her jaw muscles. So this is much better to spot if we put these two first facial expressions side by side so you can compare them. And this switch happens in a couple seconds. Now, many months ago, when I began digging deep into Megan's videos, at first I thought that these were facial tics, facial spasms that cannot be controlled. But tics usually happen with certain muscles of the face and are really localized. In Megan's case, her whole face changes. It's a complete different expression. And the next step is when she turns to see the camera. This could be described as a resting expression, a rather neutral face. But even so, it's not hard to spot that Megan has a very intense gaze. A very intense look, or at least that's the look that she wants to give the camera. I must say that she looked really good at that moment, and I'm telling you that she's got a very intense stare at this point, and to prove it, I'm going to show you what happens just one second later. On the left, you can see the intense look, on the right, one second later, a more relaxed expression. This is high-level face reading. This is something that your brain is designed to do on its own automatically. What we are doing here is that I'm showing you two versions of the same expression so your rational mind can absorb the subtle differences. What I think happens here is that Megan turned to the camera, tried to relax her face, but needed a couple seconds to really settle her feelings. Remember that any clenching of the jaw has to do with emotions. It could be nervousness or frustration or anger, but if you want to relax your face after that, it has to be consciously. She then turns to Ruben again and tries to display a smile. But the smile that she displays in this case is not genuine, because her lip corners are not pulling really upward, but to the sides. And there's not enough pressing of the cheeks on her eyes, so nice try, but no, it doesn't cut it. She tries to play friendly with a gesture that you might already know its meaning, that is rising the eyebrows. We rise our eyebrows for many reasons, but the most relevant here is trying to show goodwill to the interviewer. Now, by this point, you might be a little confused, as in, what is going with Megan's face? And that's the most important part of body language, it's not just about spotting the facial expressions, but trying to make sense of why do they happen, and in this case, why do they change so fast? And there's an explanation, but first let's review all the rest of her facial expressions. The next one is a compound facial expression. She turns away, relaxes her mouth, she's no longer trying to smile, so she almost drops it completely and does a long blink. 
A long bling is people trying to evade themselves from the moment, or being bored, or wishing that they were somewhere else. Now Ruben is talking to her, so it's natural that she is going to be turning to face him again. When she does that, two things happen. She swallows really hard, she tenses her neck muscles and makes a subtle chin jot. This is another compound facial expression because it's a mix of various signals that commonly happen individually. When an analyst spots a compound expression, you have to judge what is the correct word to define what you are seeing. And this is because compound expressions can have any kind of facial combinations. In this case, my personal take on it is that I see hostility. If you see any other emotion or you want to define it with another word, I'd be glad to read it in the comments. The final expression could be easily ranked as the most intense of all that we've seen so far. She faces Ruben directly, really clenches her jaw and tilts her head down. Now, for one moment, let's discard the head movements and focus on that jaw clenching. You know that her jaw is really tense because the muscles form a diagonal line that start at the back of the jaw and point to the eyes. That's something that we've seen in other videos of Megan, so it's a recurring signal that she does it most of the time. And this is a clue about her personality. Clenching the jaw most of the time is trying to release stress, it's blowing off steam. Does it mean that Megan is angry all the time? Maybe not, but it seems that she's adapted that jaw clenching as a bad habit. That must be the reason why she's got such a strong jawline and how it has evolved through the years, by sheer contraction over and over again. But if she adopted this as a bad habit, it's because at some point she had these intense bouts of emotions that required that facial escape. And that has to do with the explanation of why does he have so many facial expressions in so little time? Because you have to look at all of them like a system, and it's much easier if you reduce expressions to their easiest meanings. One, she has a hard time showing genuine smiles. Two, she has a hard time hiding her tension, that might be well be anger or frustration. And three, she looks like she wants to have the control of the narrative because she seems too affected by the man talking. You see that it's not easy, but it's not impossible either to make sense of 10 different facial expressions if you group them in their similarities. Despite how distracting or confusing this might be, the easiest answer is the correct one. Megan was upset and she was doing a very bad job at hiding it. And she must have really wanted to control the narrative because later in this interview she grabs the man's cards and she even gets upset when he looks at another person over her shoulder. But that's material for a second video. If you want a second part, just show me some love with the like button. If you want to refine your observation skills, all you have to do is download my 100 battle language tips right in the description of this video. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas and it will always be a pleasure, my battle language buddies.